y'all, I get to the truck and I start chewing some gum and there it goes again, became unstable. I just started crying. Where have I been on my budgeting journey? Let's talk about it. Hey y'all, this is Rochelle and welcome or welcome back to my channel, Rochelle's Plans. Thank you for joining me for another video. And in today's video, y'all, I am going to be explaining to you all where I have been for the past year or year and a half. So if you want to see where I've been, then keep on watching right here. So I know some of you all have reached out to me wanting to know like where my budgeting videos were, um, how am I doing? and yada 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 and so i want to just address it because you will be seeing soon budgeting videos from me so before i start back into the cash planning and budgeting by paycheck and cash stuffing and sinking funds and all this that and the third i want to just explain to y'all what happened where and where I've been okay so y'all um I cannot remember when the last time was that I did a budgeting video where I did cash stuff and things like that I want to say it was possibly in 2022 um I think it was 2022 because I think because that's when I had my oral surgery done. It was in March, I think it was March the 7th to be exact. March the 7th of 2022 is when I had my oral surgery. What happened was after I had my oral surgery, um, and when I say the oral surgery, it was really extensive. Um, I'm trying to see if I want to even disclose what I had done and how much it cost. You know what? If we're being an open, if I'm being an open book, why not? Okay. So, and please, no judgment, no judgment. This is a judge free zone over here and just please no judgment. Okay. Um, I mean, people fall down, but we get up um, and I feel hard. I feel really, really hard. I rolled over. I fell off the wagon. I rolled over in the dirt. I rolled under the wagon. The wagon ran over me. Uh, I had my face in the dirt while I was on the ground. But you know what? I got up and I dust myself off after some time. And here I am now. So... Back in 2022 is when I had my oral surgery. And that cost $25,000 to have. Damn! And you guys probably are asking, well, what in the world did you have done that cost $25,000? It involved implants, okay? So I had, let's see, five implants put in and the cost was $25,000 and my oral surgeon, you had to have that up front before they would even start. You had to have it paid in full before they would start on you. So I had to go. I mean, it was at that point where I had to get this done. You know, there was no turning back. I had to get this work done on my mouth. Before I had my implants put in, I had veneers in on the top on the top i had veneers put in i want to say i think it was in 2004 and i'm so so grateful and thankful for god and where he placed me in life okay so in 04 is when i got those veneers and i remember in the chair when the dentist was about to perform or had finished performing the procedure he was like you know eventually because I was asking questions like how long would these last and he and I paid 
maybe $5,000 back then. And so I remember him telling me that eventually I will have to get the veneers redone or do something else because they're only going to last so long. But y'all, so that was 04 and 2022 is when they became unstable and I had to get them. Was it 20? Was it 20? No, 2021. The end of 2021, they really became unstable in 2022. Yeah, it's when I had to just, I had to bite the bullet. They only, he told me they will only last so long. It was about 20 years. They last me for like 19 years. Um, and so here we are. So Ryan, my middle daughter, is a competitive cheerleader. So I remember... Well, okay, I was at one of my son's basketball games. I was eating a hot dog. And I remember biting down on the hot dog and something happened. I can't tell you what it, exactly it was, but I know something happened with my teeth and it wasn't right. Y'all know when something is not right. So I remember telling my husband, and at the time I was so happy because we were still in masking season. And I told him, I said, something just happened I don't know what but something's not right and what it was is it was becoming unstable um because you know like the veneers like the teeth is here here's my tooth and the veneers is on top of there like this and what happened was it was like coming a loose like this and I could feel like in here that where that gap is, I could feel like wind in there and that had never happened before. I don't know if that was a good me showing y'all, but that's the only way I know how to explain it. I told him, I said, something's not right. And that was at a basketball game, my son's basketball game. So fast forward to 20, 22, February, every February around Valentine's Day, my daughter, they would always have competition in Atlanta cheer sport excuse me so we were at cheer sport and y'all when I tell you we were at the sugar factory and I was eating a chicken strip when my veneers basically just did this in my mouth right again it was masking season so I was able to wear my mask the entire time. Now, this was a Friday. Now, we normally, we get to Atlanta Thursday, Friday, Saturday. We don't come back home till Monday, okay? Because competition is on <clears throat> Saturday and Sunday, and you have to stay Sunday because awards is usually late on Sunday evening, okay? So we didn't get a chance to fly out until Monday morning. So when I texted my daughter, I was like, Ryan, my teeth just fell out. And, and we're at a big table, like, you know, cheerleaders and cheer moms or whatnot. And I caught them in my mouth, but it was just like, I was like, oh my gosh, I can't do this. I, I cannot do this, right? I had to take my thumb and push up my tooth, like in my mouth. I, it was just a whole thing, y'all. We ended up leaving early I think we ended up leaving well maybe I'll stay so that she could you know still fraternize with the girls and her cheer teammates and stuff like that stunt group so I couldn't eat anything um so that was the entire weekend come back home I go to the dentist I make an emergency appointment and she puts something in there but she tells me she's like hey you know what this is not gonna last long at all maybe a day Y'all, I get to the truck and I start chewing some gum and there it goes again, became unstable. I just started crying. So then I um, called the oral surgeon and I'm like, look, we got to schedule it. That was February. I was getting my implants done in March, March the 7th. So it was like around February, like 18th, 19th, March the 7th, I was getting my oral surgery done. Y'all asking, well, where'd you get $25,000 from? Well, you know, I was cash stuffing already. I didn't have $25,000 to save up, but we had some savings. Um, had depleted all of our savings. And um, I was asking my husband, he was like, you got to get it done. 
you got to get it done. So take it. You know what I'm saying? That's what savings is for. Take it. And I um, went into my 401k. So I went into my 401k to pay for the rest of it. And like all of my sinking funds, like all of my envelopes, like they were depleted. Since I pulled from my 401k, um, of course, my checks are going to be lower because I'm paying that back. And um, which entails that I could not contribute to my sinking funds like I wanted to because now like my checks are like shorter than what they normally are on top of still contributing to my 401k because I still contribute to my 401k still to this day and even still while going through all of that so I still contribute to my 401k um I'm paying back on that loan and it'll be done in 2025 um what else Oh, and still contributing to like, because I carry our medical, medical, dental and vision insurance. I carry all of that and I still um, put into our flexible spending account. Um, and what else? And then try to save some money on the side in the credit union. And that's where we are. So I had to deplete all of my sinking funds envelopes everything in order to not have to take out as much on my out of my 401k to help pay for my surgery so y'all that is where we are i have this is my budget binder and this is my workbook where I figured out like my sinking funds and things like that so I just wanted to have these here so that way you know I just had something else in the background other than my head oh yeah. that's where I have been but I wanted to come on and explain that to y'all because um when I started back budgeting and budgeting and everything my envelopes are gonna be bare gonna be bare so I'm starting over but y'all I'm back I'm ready to do this it's a new year 2024 is my year and I'm back and I'm ready to go so if you have any questions leave them down below stay tuned because I will be back budgeting and cash stuffing uh cash stuffing a little bit we'll we'll see I'm gonna explain everything to y'all when I get to that video but y'all, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow me over on Instagram. At, and if you're not subscribed to my channel, like I said, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And become a part of my online community. So, yeah, y'all. I will talk to y'all in another video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys. <music>